Hello everybody, and welcome back to Hazecraft. This is episode 27. Crazy, I know. Ah, uh, today we are working on... Actually, I want to remove that block there. We're putting the finishing touches on another island here. And this island is going to be our storage island is where we're gonna build up big storage arrays and things, I guess. Um, but yeah, it'll be super exciting. We are going to build a version of the Tango Tech item storage, one that I actually designed or redesigned myself um, but yeah, you can see with this island, I've gotten a lot more changes in elevation here, and if we go and look at it from the bottom, you'll see there's some spikes and some flat parts and then some holes and stuff, and all in all, I think it looks pretty good. Getting more creative with our island building. Our airship there, still not finished. I'm trying to... Get the nether portals to link up properly. I think I have to move this nether portal. I think they're just too close for it to work. So that'll be a project for <laughs> whenever I have time. But for now, we don't have... We do have rockets. We have a fair number of rockets and a fair amount of gunpowder. Just because there were so many mobs spawning in there as I was building it that I was killing lots of creepers. Um, but yeah, that's still work in progress. This is our storage island. We need a redstone shulker box. And actually, I don't even know if we have enough stuff in here. I think we gotta make some redstone stuff. Alright, that took a little while to gather, but, uh... Oh, oh, I guess I didn't get... Wait, wait a second, don't look yet. There we go. Alright, full stack of levers. Uh, so... Most of it up to a full stack. I got 16 daylight sensors just because I went to the nether to get a bunch of quartz for observers and comparators because this actually takes, well, I mean, that's two stacks right there. A lot of torches going into this. Um, but I did get a bunch of quartz, had some extra glass, so I decided to make some daylight sensors. All those hoppers and chests have pretty much killed my wood supply as... As you can see, I uh, don't need cobblestone. Let's pick up this box and head up to that island. Anyways, the idea, or well, I guess the plan for today, get out a bunch of this stuff and droppers. I think that's about all we need. The plan for today is a storage system, and as I said, this one is of my own design, I guess you could say. Um, and if I remember, I will put an iCard up in the top corner there with a link directly to this tutorial. I'm just trying to think of how it goes now. I'm trying to remember how to build it. I think, oh, not there. Redstone there and there. And we're building it with stone in stone, which is uh, only going to get confusing. But should be able to figure it out. Holy dirt. All right. Now, Parator, Parator means out of here we need repeaters on, yeah, oops, repeaters on three ticks, pick up that extra repeater because we don't want to lose it. Like so. Lots of torches in this because 
Redstone is very laggy in uh, this update. So here, more dust there, and then more blocks here. Like so. And then this is where our droppers are going to start. Just like so. Hoppers will be feeding into these guys. Ooh, right, and hoppers have uh, more tailored textures. Anyways, um, I guess we can uh, get stuck in here. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Let's hop out. Let's... Oh. Thought I had a crafting table set up already. Guess not. Okay, crafting table there. I guess we can use and should use slabs for a decent portion of it, including this section here. Which, that's about all we need. Comparators and my redstone stuffs out redstone there this one needs to be a block because it has a torch on this end lab for repeater repeater goes up into a block which has lab lab block another slab there this repeater on four ticks and then a torch there and redstone dust like so this is sort of a i guess it's a quick little tutorial i'm running through here but if you want the full tutorial make sure you guys check out that link in the icards um, I think it must be here. Yeah, so block up like that into a torch and a block on top. This one's solid block. We are going to need to get a slab in there. And a slab like that. And then redstone dust over all three. Redstone dust on that hopper. Yeah, looking pretty good so far. That's the delay and the clock and the start of our porch towers. And now... Let's see... So we're gonna run a couple more hoppers in here, like so. And then, yeah, so this will take it in from one and out the other. And then, repeater on one tick, more redstone dust there, and up into a block. And so this hopper that's right beneath this block, this will be where items come into the system. Uh, of course, we will need some blocks here with more torches. And these dropper elevators will continue up. All right, again, oops, a redstone repeater on one tick there. Then, just go back up to where I was standing, couple hoppers going to that side and so now our input from one system lines up with their output from the previous one and we can stack these modules directly beside each other which is good it needs some more blocks and torches like so these guys will get dust here we're gonna have another block 
And here we can just go with a couple slabs and a block on top of that torch, repeater, dust. This pattern will repeat. What? Oh, I do have some chests. Grab some chests now because we can put those in here. All right, so a total of six chests, and we will need hoppers. Just a set of hoppers on top of them as well. We are repeating this pattern here of, oh, I guess I can't, can't do it from there, but block like so. See if I can jump up there. Nice torch block. Slab on the side of this torch, repeater. And I guess we can put these. Yeah. And let's see, that is not dust. That needs to be a repeater going into that block. Just like we have below. Yeah, just like we have below. Good. And here. I get three, four, I only got five chests. Something, something was seeming like it wasn't lining up right. All right, let's hop up here. Couple blocks, couple more hoppers. And, oh, try not to fall all the way down there. Put some torches, dust. Um, let's get some slabs, which needs a repeater and more dust. One of these torches, just again trying to keep it very well lit up here. And block there, torch, slab on the side of that, repeater, block. So this is sort of how you guys can build it up in survival as well. Torches, redstone dust on top, hoppers, we'll need to feed back here. Um, I guess, yeah, we can do, oops, wrong button. Droppers up to there, and then a dropper pointing forward into this hopper. And... I can't remember if this is necessary or not. Just something that I like to do is just continue the redstone onto these hoppers. It should be locked. I guess I guess we don't need this because it should be locked by the powering of this block. Um let's build I'm trying to I haven't ever actually built this in survival before, so Trying to figure out what the easiest way to do that is, and it seems like I should be using this dropper, stack of droppers in order to place all these redstone torches. Again, we're going to make sure this is well lit up, and more blocks, more torches, more blocks. Or torches. And one of these torches. Let's keep bringing this up. To the top. Oops. Wow, I caught that all the way from there. All right, like so, and then Try to get, uh, take that back, put a hopper there, and try to get the dropper facing sideways into this hopper. Looks like I'm going to have to back up a little more. Right on the edge, perfect. Now, I mean, now we should be good. Let's throw another torch up in there. Look it over once more, but oh right, we need uh, 
we need these guys to go up like so. This up. And this is again just on the top of the torches. That way this redstone doesn't get powered. And we can connect up. Oop, not not that kind of top of the torches. But this is so we can connect up all these levels. And that's the last one. Awesome. Now we should be good to go. You can see our grass has come in. I don't really know what I'm my, what my plans are for this island yet. But let's throw our dirt in there. And we shouldn't hear anything, which is awesome because this is a completely silent design. But we can see it cycling. Didn't last long because there's only three pieces of dirt. But looks like we also had a piece of redstone in there as well. See if there's anything in that. Yeah, there's that extra piece of redstone that was that I broke off that hopper, got caught in the next one because of the redstone torches. Alright, well, hats off to anyone who has seen my tutorial for this and figured out what I was doing wrong uh, before I even did, because built it all up, thought I was doing great, and as it turns out, I forgot to add, there's supposed to be four comparators here, not just, uh, not just two. So, because of that, the delay was too short, and things were not going as planned, and items were getting stuck. So, if we extend this out, turn that off, that'll turn that off. And now, this is far enough forward that we will have a space between... Get a hopper in there, and like so... Bring this out to there. Um, this has to be a full block again. Slab, slab. Things were items were getting stuck in uh, in this dropper here. I couldn't figure out why, but that was because these blocks here were right up against it. So when we had the torch on it, let me grab a torch. When these torches were powered to deactivate the torches, it was powering the dropper, which wasn't letting the dropper fire. Big mess, a um, lot of clicking involved, and I'm like, hmm, we're not supposed to be hearing anything in this. So, anyways, let's put hopper, does that guy point sideways? Yeah. Hopper, and... We'll have to get some hoppers going out here, out the side. Um, out to, oh, man. Out to this block. Let's quickly run around. Hopper, hopper. And then here's a block. We can just run the hopper into that block. Not super important where that one goes to as long as it's pointing to the side pointing it straight down pointing hoppers straight down can have issues but uh yeah let me rebuild this and get this all working all right well that is why it's always good to double check things work before you uh finish them off we have this full up with stuff but Put an ender pearl in there, see what happens. We got, yeah, all three of our bread to here. We get, yeah, or one piece of redstone dust. I think I threw a torch in there, which should have gone in there. Awesome. What else did I throw in? Oh, there's the ender pearl. Good. Stone, bread, and then, yeah, hoppers and dirt in the output. Alright, so that works perfectly. We just, uh, 
I had to make sure there's the space in here between this block and this dropper, otherwise this dropper gets stuck. Oh, and uh, E-Tech is having uh, a rough go. I think that's the uh, second time he's fallen from a high place. But there's one module. As you can see, I have a lot of space here for storage. Um, so this will all get built up eventually over the next couple uh, days put all of this away and then we can start organizing storage systems we'll build up the next one it'll go we'll have to remove this dirt here and try to figure out what to build over here but i think that is going to do it for me for today thank you everyone for watching it has been wonderful building uh, building this uh, redstone. As I said, check out the tutorial because obviously this was not a great tutorial. I didn't, <laughs> it didn't even work the first time I built it. Um, oh, there goes an iron golem. It's just fun to watch them fall out of the corner of your eye. Uh, yeah, go check out the tutorial and learn how to build this yourself. It works great, and I can say that it does work on servers. This is the first time I've built it on a server, and yeah, it works good. So, without further ado, thank you everybody for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>